Stuella Braverman, as Home Secretary, is the only cabinet minister who is prepared to move heaven and earth to stop the channel illegal migrant crisis. She's admitted she dreams of planes filled with those who have been smuggled to the country by criminal human trafficking gangs, being transported to Rwanda to try and deal with what has become a national emergency. So no wonder the left, the BBC and much of the MSM, the civil service blob and depressingly even Tory wets are determined to hand her from office. Well, tonight, Suella has hit back and made it abundantly clear to Rishi Sunak that if he gives in to the mob and sacks her, then his premiership will likely fail. You see, Suella agrees with me and Nigel Farage and every other presenter and commentator here on GB News who has been raising the national shame of this legal invasion for well over a year now. She accepts this is an illegal invasion as the numbers back up. And if you still don't believe me, let's just look at those numbers. In 2018, there were just 299 arrivals via small boats. That increased to 1,843 in 2019, over 84,000 in 2020, 28,526 last year, and so far this year already 39,430, including 1,000 on Saturday and 468 yesterday. Today, as Labour did all they could to get her sacked for 14 emails from her ministerial address to her Gmail address on six occasions, Suella faced the House of Commons to tackle this crisis head on with impressive rhetoric that the government now needs to turn into action. I have worked hard to find alternative accommodation to relieve the pressure at Manston. What I have refused to do is to prematurely release thousands of people into local communities without having anywhere for them to stay. That is not just the wrong thing to do, Madam Deputy Speaker. That would be the worst thing to do for the local community in Kent, for the safety of those under our care and for the integrity of our borders. The British people deserve to know which party is serious about stopping the invasion Let's stop pretending that they are all refugees in distress. The whole country knows that that is not true, and it's only the honourable members opposite who pretend otherwise. I am determined to do whatever it takes to break the criminal gangs and fix our hopelessly lax asylum system. That, Madam Deputy Speaker, is why I am in government, and that is why There are some people who would prefer to be rid of me. Let them try. Now, Sue Allen's right. There are many, including those within her own party, who would prefer to be rid of her, largely because she's talking the language of the people on this migrant crisis. While the overcrowding at the Manston Processing Centre is, of course, an issue, and the firebombing at the weekend is a despicable crime which must be investigated, the left want to use both situations to cloud what the real issue is. Sir Edward Lee got it right in the House when he expressed his support for Superwoman Suella. Look. If people don't want to go to Manston, they can stay in France. (laughs) But we all know... What's really behind these unpleasant personal attacks is because this Home Secretary is the only one with the guts, the determination, the legal knowledge to reform our ridiculous human rights law and detain these people, which is the only way, and send them back, the only way that we're going to deal with this. And those who constantly make these personal attacks to somebody who has made just one mistake and apologised, remember the old motto, remember the old motto, understand and judge not. Has she the determination to amend our ridiculous laws? Now, the public are not fooled. The fact processing centres are overflowing, hotels blocked, booked and houses being taken from Brits only emphasises why the boats must be stopped. Stop the boats and get a grip on our borders. If it means leaving the ECHR, as Suala believes, is critical then Sunak must do it, given many of the arrivals are criminals. 
Stop the boats. Get a grip on our borders. It is the only way for the Conservative Party to beat Labour at the next election and defeat an effective open borders policy under Slippery Starmer.